Are you a subject matter expert who struggles to speak with confidence? Are you losing career opportunities and feeling stuck because of your stage fear and nervousness during presentations? Isn't that affecting your happiness and your family's future? Welcome to the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bashal Sarkar, India's celebrity expert in practical public speaking, where he shows you how to speak with confidence, deliver rock solid confident presentations in front of decision makers without any stage fear. Would you like to become the confident man, gain more respect, and enjoy a happy life? Then listen carefully because this is showtime. For knowing more about the upcoming practical public speaking courses and opportunities to get mentored by Mr. Bishal himself, go to bishalsarkar.com. Again, you can go to bishalsarkar.com. For more information about having a conversation with our team members about your situation, show starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. Is using effort acceptable in office environment? Hey, this is Anupama Chatterjee and welcome to the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bishal Sarkar. And today our topic is if really, really effort is acceptable in an office environment. Yeah. Bishal, what do you have to say on that? Well, um, see, there are different kind of opinion. A lot of people will uh, will use an effort today, you know, by listening <laughs> to the show. And that's fine. And that's fine. Uh, but let me tell you, before we go on, I just want to share a quick story with everybody. There was an accidental time. And uh, this is how I accidentally enrolled uh, a client that really in the last uh, few months um, okay. paid up to 25 lakhs rupees. And 25? he came to know uh, and not came to know. I mean, he already knew me and stuff and he was in the audience recently. Okay. Um, and it was last year, um, but maybe 12 months back. And I was giving okay. a presentation. He came to one of my public speaking courses, uh, the Confident Expert Live Experience, because he wanted to overcome his stage fear and all that. But he was a business owner. Okay. Um, he is actually a managing director of, a, of, a, of an organization. And uh, I told one of my stories very authentically, you know, with no intention to impress anybody, no intention to depress anybody. <laughs> Just wanted to express myself. And I did that. And many times I used words and uh, powerful expressions that were coming through. Through me, you know, there are times, Anupama, when you really learn to be a great communicator. You yes. don't just, you are no more scripted. Like you can have structures in your mind, you can have notes and all that, but you come through as an authentic version of you because you know what, what you're speaking about. Like yes. you are no more the source, you're more like a pipe through which the water is flowing. You're more exactly. like a, you're more like a, um, um, you know, connector between the message and the recipient. It's coming through you. Does yes. that make sense to you? Yes. Exactly. That's what people come to me and tell me when I speak to a lot of people every day. Many of them, I hear many people say this. Mm-hmm. Anubhava, I, I want to be flawless. Flaw- I know yeah. what to say and I know who to talk to, but I can't. Uh, I'm not being the messenger of my message yeah. to the audience. Yeah. And a lot of people say that, uh, you know, I, I don't know how to connect with uh, my managers during an important presentation. I know a lot. I have 12 years, 15 years of experience. And Michelle, I can't connect. And it's an awkward situation for me because of totally. that. Uh, my my career is being stuck. And in fact, coming back to the story, so I gave a presentation um, and, uh, you know, I, I have one of those, those very high level service called the Ultimate Trusted Authority uh, Formula Package, where we just completely create an authority out of somebody, position themselves uh, as an authority in the marketplace. We do all kinds of stuff, um, very, very secret process that we don't, you know, publicly do that. And one of those investment level is 25 lakh rupees, right? So I, I to tell my story about this whole thing. And he comes to me in the end and he says, Bishal, I want to join your mastermind. I want to get this entire thing. Okay. I want to get the entire package. And uh, I mean, long story short, I asked him, like, how did you, uh, you know, why did you decide to invest so much money to get this thing? <laughs> you could go to somebody else and get it at a cheap price. He said, Bishal, because you speak the truth. Think about that, Anupama. Totally. Like you speak the truth. Now imagine if you are listening to the show, if your manager, your boss comes to you and says, you speak the truth. If your clients come to you and say, you speak the truth. If your team members come to you and say, you speak the truth. Yes. You don't have to make 25 lakh rupees from one client. Maybe you are not in a position like that. And that's fine. But what if you could get the next promotion? 
because of speaking that truth by being yourself. So we are not just talking about using F word because I did that, yes. not intentionally, but h- how to be yourself in your expression. So, In fact, Vishal, I think that authenticity is the new currency. Absolutely. It is a new currency. It's an old currency too. <laughs> <laughs> but people didn't use that much. But in today, and you know, it's funny, a lot of people teach authenticity. You know, like you go to, go to training institution <laughs> to be authentic. How corny is that? Think about that. Like, oh, it's it's kind of like, oh, I, I get, uh, you know, I don't know. I get trained to sleep. Don't sleep! <laughs> you know? So it's uh, authenticity. It's like it, it's come from you. With, it comes within you. You have to just be yourself. And I think uh, there are two places. I mean, you can use um, F words uh, only in two situations, in two kinds of and business situations. They? And I'm, before I tell you that, by using the F word in the wrong place, it's going to fuck up your life, to be honest, if you're listening to the show. It's going to completely take your reputation I down. I can't agree more. Yeah, you can. And and there are two places. Number one, I want you to remember this. It has to be either a friendly conversation or, in fact, before the hour, it has to be a friendly conversation, the first one. It, meaning, you, all the people have to know you, like you, and trust you before you can use any F word or any taboo languages, like a moron or any word that you ever say, they have to know you, like you, and trust you. So you're talking about, if you want to know more about this, go to our previous show. Yeah, we, we, we spoke about the KLT factor, you know, the no I can trust factor. We talk about it, especially in our programs as well. But you have to have that no I can trust factor, without which using an F word it is going to completely screw up your reputation. That's number one. Number two is you can use an F word as a tool to create more freeness and comfort level in meetups. Meaning, let's say you are in a party and people are, you know, they know, everybody knows that, I, you know, they are all good, but they're not feeling good coming together. In fact, yes. have you ever been in a party or a situation where everybody's trying to act serious, Anupama? Yes. So they're like, hi, how are you? Yeah. What do you do? And the conversation is dead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And many people do that because they are not being themselves. They're not letting their inner child communicate properly. Now, a lot of people say, inner child, don't use the F word. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> I don't know. Listen up, man. You have to understand that these are, these are the two places. You can either be in a friendly conversation or... See, the reason I sometimes use F words... First of all, I don't care about people's opinion in a respectable way. I care for them, but I don't care about their opinion. You know that, right? Right. Number two, the people that I use it with, they know me. They like me. They trust me. That's the reason you are listening to me right so now. That's because the secret. That's the secret because I have to... I, I can't do it like... If I'm meeting a celebrity, if I'm meeting a big time CEO, I'm not going to just use F word because it's going to make me look weird at that time. So it depends on two things. So okay? strike the iron when it's hot. It's hot. Don't strike when it's not. <laughs> okay? <laughs> two, two things you have to keep in mind. Number one is you have to understand people and the psychology of them. Number two, the environment where you're using them. Okay? So once you understand these two things, these are the two things you have to keep in mind to dis- determine if you can just create a freeness um, or in a friendly conversation whether the F word is an appropriate thing for you or not. In fact, let me tell you another thing. Okay? I think it's going to be an extra help for people. A lot of people um, don't get the right words at the right time. We get a lot of you know, uh, like emails, phone calls from people who want to join our course. We don't take everybody, Anupama, yes. right? Why do you think we don't take everybody? Because everybody is not a good fit for our programs. And like you said, we don't work with newbies. We only work with subject matter experts. Yeah, even in subject matter experts, we have criteria. Like yes. we don't, if you have got a big ego, this is not your place. If you're over smart, go show that smartness somewhere else. This is not your place. You this know that, Mr. Anupama. Bishal's place. Yeah, and it's, it's not about me. It's not my ego. I, it's just like this. Mango flavor is a good flavor. Chocolate flavor is a good flavor. They are not good together as a good flavor. Oh, they don't before. make a good. They don't make a good combo. Okay, so you are a good person, probably. I'm a good person, but we might not make a good fit together. Yes. Okay, and we might. We don't know. We no have to find feelings. that out. No hard feelings. So a lot of people don't don't know how to connect with the senior managers during important presentations. Number two is a lot of people, when they get nervous, Anupama, they say a lot of things sometimes that they don't get the right words at the right time to express themselves. Yes. Have you ever been in a situation where you are not getting the right word at the right time to express yourself? Yes. Earlier today, in fact. Yeah. And you know what the mistake many people do? They think I don't have the right vocabulary. Oh, yeah. I thought that. Yeah. Many people think that I don't have the right vocabulary. And what they do to get the vocabulary is they use this cheesy little technique, which is I have to go to the dictionary. Listen to this. I got to go to the dictionary, read five words a day because that makes 150 words in a month. (laughs) I know mathematics. 30 into five is 150. But tell me, how many days are you going to do it for? Five words a day, 
say five words a day. And the main problem with these people is they also go and say, I have to read newspaper and gather words. And exactly. in newspaper, Telegraph is a high fashion stuff. Yeah. Like, think about this. How the words that are being used in, in newspaper, extravagance or display. Imagine you going <laughs> and your, your boss asks, how's your wife? And you say, she's doing extravagance or display. I don't know what display that you know you're talking about. Oh my gosh. But but th- that's a bad thing. So you have to understand how to use the right words at the right time. So the wrong thing to do is just going through dictionary because that's a childish way and a theoretical way to learn words and communicate your words, your expressions in the most powerful way. The right way to do that, Anubama, is to hang out with great communicators. Hang Be- out with because great Jim Rohn once said, you become who you hang out with. You hang out with five great communicators, you become the sixth one. You hang out with five losers, you become the sixth one. Absolutely. So these are the things that I want to talk about um, that one, I wanted to talk about. You know, you, you really have to understand that if you really want to create rock solid vocabulary, hang out with people. See, that's the reason people come to us to get help, because they want to hang out with me, learn from me, understand. And there are different ways. There are five other ways to uh, use the vocabulary in the right way. And we talk about it in the upcoming program. So, Bishal, could you give us some tactics like surefire tactics, how to like get more people, connect with more people easily in the presentations or in our daily lives? Without using the efforts? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to say three specific ideas you can use today, Anupama. And, and the dear listener, actually, you can use these three techniques today in order to create great um, connection with people. All three of them start with F. Number one, share your flaw. Share your flaw. <laughs> A lot of people, Anupama, what they do is that they do not know how to create great level of connection. So they try to show themselves as a perfect person and perfection sucks. Write this down. Perfection sucks. You you want to show your flaw. That's the reason people, when they come to know that I did not have a great background in communication, I came from a Bengali medium school, government school, you know, I came from a middle class family. People connect with that. Why? Yes. Because they know that um, they know my flaws. Second is you want to share your failures. Anytime you fail, you want to connect with people. And the third is you want to share your first. So if you're a manager, if you're an IT professional, talking to your team members, talking to senior managers, talk about the first time you started a new project. Talk about the first time you failed in a new project. And these are the three things you can do. So flaw, failure, and firsts. Flaw, failure, and first. Now this brings me to the questions that we have for today. And today we are going to take a question from Bharat. Okay, Bharat from Bangalore. He's a software professional, 16 years of work experience he has. His question is, poor speaking skills is hampering my professional growth. I'm due for a promotion to senior engineering manager soon. And I feel good. I feel good public speaking skills is a must as I go higher up in the chain in organization. How do I move forward? So that's his question. Pretty simple. You have to understand that you have to master your confidence level. You have to master your communication. It's not going to happen automatically. Nobody becomes slim automatically without cancer. Right. (laughs) So nobody and, and, and fear is the biggest cancer that you have. In your exactly. communication, it's the biggest cancer, and it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna go out automatically. You have to do the chemotherapy, and get it out. Okay, and in the same way, you have to understand that you have to practically improve your public speaking and presentation skills. For so Bharat, what he under- needs to understand is you need a mentor right now. You need a mentor that can help you, like crush your confidence completely, grow your greatness, and reap your rewards. Man, that that was catchy, right? (laughs) So crush your confidence, grow your greatness and completely uh, reap your rewards. And once you do that, I can tell you that it's going to great become great for you because in fact, this is the same thing that happened with Vinod. Um, He he grew one of our clients. He grew his confidence, grew his career. And today he's, you know, doubled his income. He's getting more rewards. And the biggest mistake I want to just end with this right now. Many people do is many people use F word to impress other people. You know, somebody like that, right? Yes. Now I'm Talking to the dear listener to you, to not not to you right now, Anupama. You know somebody who who uses the F word just to impress people. Don't be one of them. It's not about impression. It's about expression. And once you understand that, everything is going to transform for you. Uh, Bharat, I hope that answers your question. Uh, we do uh, a lot of it more in our program, the Confident Expert Live Experience. If you want to explore more opportunities, reach out to me on triple eight zero three six one five two six. That's triple eight zero three six one five two six. And the final words for today is that public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. Congratulations for listening to today's show. 
If you're ready to become the confident man in your own life, go to bishalsarkar.com and apply for a conversation today. For that, go to bishalsarkar.com. All right, time for me to go. Have a confident day.